Parliamentary privilege has been used in a debate to list the allegations of historical child abuse levelled at the former Leicester MP, Gravel Jana. One of the accusations is that he abused a boy from Leicester during a visit to Parliament. It's claimed Gravel Jana, now Lord Jana of Braunston, sexually abused the boy more than 40 years ago. The alleged victim has been speaking to our social affairs correspondent, Jeremy Ball. I look at this picture, Lord Jano. I'll just say a man that's escaped justice. For Paul Miller, the decision not to prosecute Lord Jana has been hard to bear. It makes me feel angry, humiliated, and he's, it looks as if he's just mocking you. You can't touch me. I see my past coming back to haunt me. It's mainly his smiling face. Greville Janner and his family have strenuously denied all the abuse allegations, but Paul says he was sexually assaulted during a trip to the Houses of Parliament. He was nine years old and part of a group who'd just been taken to see the chapel. Ended up just me and him left in there. And all of a sudden he just grabbed me. My arms were at my side and he like grabbed me. And for about 10 seconds, a long, long time, 10 seconds, and he, he basically groped me. And I was just shocked. Paul was a child who was vulnerable. Like most of Lord Janna's alleged victims, he'd been taken into care. And he says he was selected for the London trip after Greville Janna visited his school in Braunston. Forty years on, Paul went to the police as part of an investigation that gathered enough evidence to charge Lord Janna with serious crimes. But he was deemed too ill to stand trial. Since he's been uh, diagnosed with Alzheimer's and dementia, he's managed to visit the Lords and he's been seen out and about, you know. It seems, you know, more severe when it suits him. It's eating away at me. This guy's still in my head. Lord Janner, Lord Janner of Braunston, that really annoys me because I was born in Braunston. What right has he got to do that to me? And as the pressure mounts for a prosecution, Paul Miller just wants closure to deal with a childhood memory that won't go away. Jeremy Ball, BBC's Midlands Today, Leicester.